Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome on board. This is Anisha here, your guide and mentor for NMAT. NMAT is making your dream college a reality. All right. So today's video, I will be talking to you guys about the syllabus for NMAT 2021. When is the right time you should start preparing for the same? What should be your target scores? And you know how do you? start planning because a lot of students have been asking that I'm planning to give NMIMS for the next year when should I start right so an honest answer to all of you guys whenever you think when should I start the answer should be yesterday because you know don't keep thinking am I too early am I too late whenever you decide I want to give this entrance exam whether it's NMAT CAT you should just get started with the preparation okay for people who are watching the nmat videos for the first time let me give you guys a brief introduction about me this is anisha i did my mba from nmrms in 2015. post that i did a short executive management program from harvard business school i worked with mariko and henkel that's my background it's been five years mentoring students to crack nmat nmrms interviews and i can proudly tell you guys like 2020 has been the biggest year when it comes to the NMAT results and the outcome. I have 250 plus students who have cracked NMAMS Mumbai, which is uh, one third of the batch literally, right? So if you guys want to see yourself in the fancy and the swanky building of NMAMS, you got to start preparing, start focusing because NMAT has become easier and tougher. Easier because it's adaptive. I'll explain the new pattern tougher because the stakes are higher and the cutoffs are higher right so let's have a walk through all of that please make sure you watch the video right till the end take pauses and note down your syllabus and you have any doubts any questions drop in the comments I'll take care of replying to the same myself and let's make sure you have all the things you need to crack and mat all right great so first thing foremost let's understand your paper pattern okay so the most interesting thing about my paper pattern is that there are three sections okay now in these three sections we had equal distribution of questions so you have 36 questions in each of them quants and di you have 52 minutes okay 36 questions 52 minutes that means the difficulty level of this section will be the highest because they're giving you more amount of time right invariably the major focus of this when it comes to difficulty level is always data interpretation because if you see the trends nmat has always had calculation intensive di sets okay then you have the logical reasoning section 36 questions 40 minutes of time more or less a minute per question verbal is the maximum time crunch you have 36 questions and 28 minutes of time okay now let me tell you the good things about this one you choose the order in which you want the sections to come so at the start of the exam you decide whether i want to attempt first verbal or lr or quants and di try and test them in your mock test see what strategy works best for you and then make that as your go-to strategy for the exam all right so that's a thing which is at your hand my recommendation start with verbal move to lr and move to quants and di Trust me, given the period of time with your preparation and the number of mocks you give, you guys will also get a clarity on the same sooner or later, right? So this is about the paper pattern. Now some very interesting facts. It's an adaptive test. Now what do I mean by adaptive test is with every set of questions, your difficulty level goes on increasing. Okay, so if I start with base level questions, you're able to solve, I will give you the next higher difficulty level questions. If you're able to solve, I raise the bar again. But if you're not able to solve, instead of giving you tough questions and having them go wrong, I will ask you the easier level questions. So that means it's an adaptive test based on your capability. So trust me guys, in the Indian exams, this is the only exam which is based on your individual capability. Rest all are percentile based. It's always going to be relevant. There will always be someone who is better than you. You may have complex IITNs and engineers crack cat always. And math, you have no such baggage with you. It's totally on your capabilities. 
okay so that's the first advantage of the exam being adaptive second you will be getting your scorecard within 48 hours this is what was communicated on the website but you will be surprised to know this year your in March 2020, the minute you were done with the exam, within five minutes, you had your scores in hand. So you are done with the exam, you know where you stand and you know you know how to prepare ahead and you have three attempts. Best of the three attempts will be taken. So you know, you know where to focus on, where to enhance and where to put in more efforts. You don't have to wait for the entire window result coming after a month, right? So that makes life easier. Okay, so that's the good things couple of technical features you need to keep in mind there is no option that i mark the answer question for review and i come back and see the answer because like i said it's adaptive so you cannot mark for review flag or come back to the questions you solve it you mark the answer and then move ahead so that's another thing which is a catch out here unless you mark the answer you can't go to the next so invariably all 108 questions have to be answered by you but there can be a situation you run out of time like maybe 40 minutes may you were able to solve only 32 questions so four are left those four left questions will cause you damage you will have penalty marks so you have to get this in your head very clearly i have to attempt all 108 questions okay i hope this gives you an understanding of the paper pattern unless there is a change which is announced this is going to be your same paper of pattern for 2021 as well also because usually when patterns change they stick around for a year or two at least you know so that is what you have to keep in your mind set up and start prepping up all right let's talk about now the cutoffs which are there so like i said paper is easy because it's adaptive but the cutoffs are rocket high right so if i talk about the nmms mumbai campus the hr campus and the data science and analytics program which is the program with purdue the overall cutoff is 235 nmms has sectional cutoff as well which is very stringent even if one section you lose by one mark you lose the call even if you have a 270 overall which has happened with people but you missed out one section by one mark you lose it out so make sure you always have that in your mind while preparing as well i have to master all sections i can't rely on one okay so nmm is mumbai hr and the data science and analytics program with purdue overall cut of 235 individual section 76 nmm is bangalore and navi mumbai overall cut off is 230 with individual sections being at 73 hyderabad and indore overall 200 sectionals being at 55 Digital Transformation, this is a new program which is launched in Mumbai, which is, uh, you know, recently launched this year itself only. And the Business Analytics program, a proper two-year MBA program in the Mumbai campus is at 210 and sectional 60, which is there. Pharma, their cutoffs, and this year they have some different uh, new tests also for Pharma. So stay glued. We shall soon be having more details about the Pharma program and how the process has changed for that as well this year. But for the rest of you guys, you have your cutoffs at hand. Right? Now you know your paper pattern, you know your cutoffs. Let's understand what you have to study, and then you guys are set to make sure use the next one year to your best to make it to an MMS. All right. Let's talk about now the section wise syllabus which is there. So if I talk about your quants and DI section, you can see it is divided into four modules in quants and one in DIDS. This is as per the NMAT official guide which is made by the people who conduct the exam. So keep that as a benchmark. Okay, so number properties where you have numbers and remainder. NMAT does not have a calculator so remainder theorem questions do come in a lot okay arithmetic has dominated majority of the sections 60 to 65 percent of the paper was arithmetic where you have your percentages simple and compound interest profit loss discount ratio proportion and averages okay then you also have application of these coming in with you know partnerships and mixtures and allegations there is time and work time speed distance and similar questions like pipes and systems boats and streams circular race tracks all of this this is what is your arithmetic the most important piece then comes a lot of questions which is there for your algebra where you have 
you know, your sequence and series, your AP, GP and all of them, then equations, inequalities, pre and C and probability, which is them. Now, this is as per the official mock, which was released by NMAT by GMAC. But if I go by the overall trend, you would have noticed that a lot of papers or a lot of sections, instead of having a major chunk of numbers, did have a majority of P and C probability questions. So don't neglect that. Okay. Also, there was no geometry in the whole picture. But in the latter half of the, you know, the entire window of mock uh, exam, which was there, there were a couple of easy, simple formula based questions of mensuration coming up. So I would suggest in NMAT specifically, don't leave anything for options, study everything. All right, then comes your DIDS. We had caselets like in CAT, bar graphs, pie charts, tabular questions, data sufficiency, all of these questions. Okay. Out of this entire thing, your strategy should be key. I am genuinely solving at least 30 to 32 questions out of 36. Rest can be smart guesses. Out of this, I should have 25 to 28 correct for sure. That should be your target. Okay. Scaling, how it is done, forget it. That's not in your hand. So just let go. Focus on your raw scores. All right. That's about my quants and DI. Now let's talk about the wobble section. Here you had dominance of reading comprehension. Then you have para forming where we have para completion, para summary, para jumbles, all of these type of questions coming on board. Easy grammar, error identification questions, preposition and sentence correction, very simple grammar. Analogies, which is usually the difficult part, was there. So now direct vocab is not there. Close test, which was an easy bet, is not there. Close passage. But vocab-based questions are coming as a part of your reading comprehension and analogies. So still ensure you study your vocabulary. Don't take it for granted that vocab is not going to come. Isme you should look at ki 28 to 30 attempt karo or correct bhi karo. Accuracy pe play karo. Don't let things go wrong because verbal mein you can do that. Theek hai? Silly mistakes nahi ho sakti hai. Yaan pe aapko aata hai, nahi to nahi aata hai. Alright, so make sure you are focusing on that. The last section we have at hand is our reasoning section. Isme there are three modules. Okay. Critical reasoning, just sabse important hai. Your verbal reasoning, critical reasoning, it's called. Statement assumption, statement and conclusion, course of action, strengthening and weakening the argument, inference based questions, thoda se tricky questions aay thai, paradox based questions and you know all of these questions in terms of uh, evaluating the argument, those are all my uh, critical reasoning based questions. You also get questions based on you know syllogism types which is there in critical reasoning like you know implicit assumptions and reasoning based questions this is the major chunk you have 15 to 18 questions coming from that then one for sure you will have an article puzzle one input output set ye to for sure given hai hi. sometimes you have two puzzles one input output sometimes you have two input output and one puzzle based questions then you have the other reasoning questions that can come from Venn diagrams, syllogisms and our basic reasoning questions which is like coding decoding direction sense I can make a puzzle set out of it and those type of questions Okay, here again, your target should be 30 to 32 genuine attempts, 28 correct. All right, so this is your entire syllabus. I hope this video helps you guys to understand and set the process and set the path for you guys to start preparing for NMAT. Okay, now how can we help you guys to make sure you are doing this in a very organized way is check out the Cat Kings NMAT 2021 course, 40 days challenge. 40 days we will make you finish your basics basic concepts post that you will have advanced lectures you have all of these official guide questions pre-recorded videos you have mock tests of adaptive and non-adaptive so that you can benchmark your preparation there are video solutions to the mocks so that you know how a topper actually gives the mocks. I'll be taking your strategy sessions to make sure you know at every given point of time whatever new change comes in the paper pattern, how to approach each and every type of these sections, especially your reasoning because this is completely different from what you get in CAT. So I'll be taking your critical reasoning classes, input output classes and we'll make sure we get a good score. And once you have a score, leave it converging to NMMS, leave that on me. We have an excellent team which works on the same. If we guys can get 250, that's one third of your batch. I think you all can get on board. All right. 
so thank you so much guys all the very best if you have any doubts any questions drop in the comments and please make sure you do subscribe to the channel without fail all right bye bye take care